Morning, how are you this morning? It's a beautiful day here in sunny Cornwall. I've been for a walk on the beach already and um, oh, it's just lovely after all the rain we've been having. So today um, we're on the mat. I'm going to use the ball for a couple of exercises but don't worry if you haven't got one and I'm going to use um, a weight. So I've got a three kilogram and also a one kilogram. So it's up to you depending on what you have. Don't worry if you haven't got anything. You can always use something like um, an empty bottle of water, fill it up with sand to the um, weigh it and see what you've got because um, we're going to use just the one weight because I'm going to do some work on your shoulder today. Okay, so I hope you're drinking loads of water and if you are, you've probably got some empty bottles lying around anyway. So you can fill up with sand or if you've got some stones in the garden, fill up with stones or some earth just to make the, the bottle a little heavier to about one kilogram. You can have one and a half kilograms, but really no more than three. But we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so I'm going to start with the shoulder bridge. So come down to your mat. If you've got some nice relaxing music, play it in the background. That would be great, whatever you want to listen to. And have your feet and knees in line with your hip bones. And just focus on the breathing. So place your hands on your lower abdominal for a moment, so lower abdominals. Now as you breathe in, breathe into your hands. Push the abdominals into your hands. And as you exhale, pull the abs away from your hands. Let your hands just press lightly into the abdominals. Breathe in, push your hands away. And exhale, drop the fingers to the hands down into the abdominals. If you're trying to push into the abdominals, hopefully you don't need a weight because you're pressing on your bladder. <laughs> and off you go again. I'm not responsible for any accidents. Breathing in and out. And you might find that it can be a bit tricky. You might find that you breathe more here into your rib cage or here into your chest. I'm just trying to take the breath further into the abdominals to get the abs actually working, connection much quicker, and get the diaphragm, which is part of your core, to switch on as well. So a couple more breaths like this. And then bring your hands to the floor, squeeze your glutes, and start to roll yourself up through the hips, reaching through the knees, opening up the hip bones, Soften the collarbone and just gently tuck the chin into the back of the neck stays long. Keep the knees fairly close together as if you've got a tennis ball between them. And then slowly roll yourself down. Make sure your toes are relaxed and then come back up. Roll yourself through. Reach through the knees. Hips are level. Relax the chin so you're not looking all the way behind you. And then roll yourself back down. So I'm holding it up there for a few seconds. We're just getting these glutes working. Soften the ribs. Make sure you're not overarching the back. And roll yourself down. We're going to do two more. Reach through the knees. Oh, I can feel the sun shining through the window. It's lovely. And then roll yourself back down. And last one, rolling up. Level hips, lovely, and then rolling yourself down. Hands rest on your thighs, slide them down towards the knees, and as you do so, tuck the chin towards the chest. Don't jam it in because you want to keep a nice long neck and a space between the, the chin and the chest. Lift the upper body as much as you can. So if you're going to come up to off the shoulders, that's fine. If you can come up higher, just so you're by the navel, go ahead, and then slowly come back down. And as you come back down, take the arms overhead, palms face each other, reaching for the floor behind you, soften the ribs down so they're not arching. And then arms come back up, hands rest to the thighs, reach for the knees, reach further if you can, and then slowly come back down, heavy tailbone, and then reach behind you, soften the rib cage down, lifting all the way back up, dropping the chin, Reaching long, make sure you've got that gap under your chin, drop the shoulders, because you're lifting from your sternum. You're not using your shoulders to lift you, you're using your core. <laughs> I know you want to use your shoulders, but you're not allowed to use your shoulders. <laughs> lifting, and slowly lowering, coming back down, we're going to do two more. I know, you can feel it in your abs already, fantastic. 
You okay? Oh, you shaking? Last one. Reach. And slowly lower. Hands come back behind you. Lovely. Lift the arms back up towards the ceiling. One knee comes in, other knee comes in. Hold the hands here. Now go into your one leg stretch, uh, legs, so alternating legs. Lengthen one leg long, switch legs, switch legs. So breathe in and do two switches, and then breathe out and do two. Nice, easy breath pattern. So reach for the ceiling. I want you to imagine that you're holding your resistance band now. Pull the band and bring it in. Pull the band and bring it in. Pull and bring it in. So you're not stronger than the air, so really imagine you've got that band and you're working with that resistance. Pull and release. If you want to lift the head and shoulders, go ahead. We're going to do two more. There's one and there's two. Bring the feet and the knees together. Now imagine you've got a squishy ball, one of those red squishy balls, which looks a bit like that. So imagine you've got one of those between your hands. Take it overhead, squeeze the ball as you take the legs away from you. So going into your double leg stretch. Knees come in, hands come in, keep squeezing that ball. Take the arms away again, drop the ribs. Come back in, keep squeezing the ball. Take the arms away, squeeze your inner thighs. Come back in, two more, exhale, take the legs and the arms away. Inhale, come back in, last one, exhale. Inhale, come back in. Roll yourself down, keep the ball above the head and squeeze it for eight, seven, give me pulses, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release, take the hands back overhead, take the legs up towards the ceiling, bring the feet out so they're in a V shape, squeeze the legs together, Exhale, drop the legs away from you. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, drop the legs away from you. So you can just feel the back start to come off the floor. That's as far as you're going. Inhale, come back up. And again, exhale. Inhale, come back up. Keep squeezing that ball between your hands. The arms stay working. We're going to do two more. Squeeze the knees. If it's tricky, soften the knees. That's fine. Inhale, lift, bring the feet back together, bring the knees back in, bring the arms back in. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Feet come down one at a time. Are you cursing me now? Great. Drop the knees to one side. Roll yourself over onto your hands and knees. Come into, we're going to go into swimming in the box position. So the knees are hip bone distance apart. Take the right arm out in front of you and the left leg away. Lift. Hold. Now imagine the top of the hand is towards the ceiling. Don't let it drop. Hold it steady. Now bend your knee, sweep it underneath you and bring the hand down to touch the knee. Take it back out in front and take the leg out behind you. Sweep the knee down, sweep the hand down, touch the knee, come back. Three more. Keep your balance. The idea is your body doesn't move at all. Keep the head in your centre. Lengthening through the crown of the head. Last one, hold. Change sides. Float the arm and the leg off at the same time. Imagine the back of the hand is touching that ceiling. Now bend the knee, sweep it in, let the hand touch the knee, take it back. It's all about your balance and control here. And again, bring it in, try not to lift the hip. Keep the leg long, doesn't matter how high the leg is, it's how long the leg is. Reach it long from your hip bone. Two more. Falling over yet? <laughs> That's fine, as long as you can laugh about it and get back up. Hold it nice and steady. Good job, come back down to the floor. Bring the feet together, take the knees out, come back into child's pose, bring the hands around by your feet. Let your head rest on the floor and just breathe. And let your shoulders relax. Lovely. And then slowly roll yourself up. Okay, I'm going to sit on a ball for this, but you don't have to. If you haven't got one, just sit on the floor. I'm just going to make it a little bit trickier. Okay, so grab your weight. I've got the three kilo, and we're going to do some work on a fantastic muscle called the serratus anterior, 
which is around here and it attaches onto the ribs and it goes around underneath your shoulder blade. So if the shoulders tend to lift, the shoulder blades tend to lift off the ribs, usually means the serratus is a little bit weak. So because we tend to do this a lot, typing, driving, reading, watching telly, remote control, we don't really do much with our arms these days. So let's do some stuff with our arms. Take the weight in one hand, take the hand out to the side. Oh, we're gonna do six. We're gonna lift the arm up towards the ceiling. We're gonna bring it back down, it comes halfway. And then you're gonna lift again, take it back down halfway. That's two. Here's your third. You can do three more. Ready for your last one? Here's the challenge. Change arms. Nice and steady. Lift and lower. There's one. There's two. You're halfway. Ready for two, three more? One. Drop your shoulders. Two. Last one. Three. Bring it in. One more on each side. If you want to change the weight, if you've got three and it's a bit too much for you, take it down to one or one and a half. That's fine. You start to feel it here, working in the side of the, uh, the back, side of the ribs and into the back. Make sure you're not arching the back, so tuck your tailbone under slightly. So when you've done six, change sides, try and stay centred, so you're not leaning. Two. Three. Ready for the last three? Let's go. Last one. Oh, lovely. And then bring it in and release the ball. I release the weight. Come down to your knees. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of an abdominal um, workout on the ball now. So just let your hands rest on the ball and just slowly push the ball forward. Let your hips drop into a half plank position. Come back in, roll the ball back in. And again, push it away. And come back in. And again, push it away. And come back in. So don't drop down too low. If you drop down too low, you look like that. And the hips, you'll start to feel it in your lower back. So you're in a straight line from the hips to your shoulders. We can do two more and then we're going to change it. Watch your shoulders are away from your ears. Hold it steady. Do five circles in one direction as if you're stirring a pot. And then reverse it, come back the other way. Keeping steady in your hips. Done five. Rolling it back up. Ready for one more? Okay, let's go. Roll it forward. If you want to make this trickier, tuck your toes under so you're in a full plank position. If you want to challenge yourself, that's fine by me. I'm going to stay on my knees. So let's do five in one direction. And then reverse it. Keep the body nice and still. And then roll the ball back in. Good work. Oh, lovely. Place the ball to one side. Come down onto your hands and knees again. Cat stretches, just roll it through, releasing any tightness in the back and come back the other way. Let's do three more, rolling it through. Nice and slowly, just creating space in the back. Releasing any tension in your lower back, let the pelvis move. And then come back to halfway between those two, look over your right shoulder to your right heel, come back to centre and look over your left shoulder to your left heel. Two more on each side, just let the pelvis move. You feel a stretch down your side, going into your obliques and to your lower back muscles. Last one on the other side. Lovely. Now stay either in your half plank position, so bring your nose forward with your knuckles so the hips start to come forward, or come into your full plank position. 
Now lift your right arm off the floor. Bring the elbow in by your waist. Come back down, change sides. So imagine you've got a weight in your hand. Keeping the body still. So on your toes, it looks like this. You can do two more on each side. Nice and slow. If you've got a cat, imagine that you're just clawing at the carpet. Holding it steady. Now, off to one side. Rotate yourself around. Bring up one hand and take it up towards the ceiling, holding your balance. Woo! Come back down into your plank position. Give me five little rows on each side, nice and slow. There's one. There's two. Three. On your knees is your option. Two more on each side. Control. Focus on your form. Abs are strong. Now you're going to go onto the other side. So I'm going to turn my back to you. Rotate yourself around. Lift the arm up. If you're on your knees, that's fine. You just bend the knees and the feet come out to the side. Look up towards your fingers. Reach for the ceiling. Active fingers. Bring the hand back down towards the floor. Back to that plank position. And give me three press-ups. Either on your knees or on your toes. Keep the head back in line with the spine. Don't lead with your chin, lead with your chest. Three press-ups. Come back into child's pose. Feet together, knees apart. Reach forward with your fingers and bring your shoulders down by your back. And then roll yourself up. Bring your right foot out in front, stretch along with the back leg. Take your hand and place it on your glutes, push the hip forward and down towards the floor so you get a stretch in that hip flexor. Lifting the chest, open up the chest. Shift the weight back, flex the front foot, push the tailbone back, increasing your stretch in the hamstrings. Bring the foot in, change sides, other leg comes forward, squeeze the glutes, push the hip forward, push the hip forward with your hands so you actually feel that pelvis tuck under and the hip go forward and down towards the floor. Holding it steady, lift the chest to increase the stretch, to really open up the front of the body. Take the hands to the floor, shift the weight back and straighten the leg, opening up the back of the knee. So we get a lovely stretch in the hamstrings. Push the tailbone back behind you. And then slowly release. Okay, come down onto the floor. Move those weights away. Straighten the legs, lift the arms. So imagine you're holding onto that ball again. Squeeze the ball tight as you roll yourself down all the way to the floor. Take the arms overhead. Lift the arms back up towards the ceiling. Look through the gap. Lift from your chest. Now if you find it hard to st struggle to come back up, bend the knees. Or just go down halfway to so stop here if you want to. That's fine. Otherwise, go all the way to the floor. Slide your ribs down as the arms go overhead. Looking through the gap, lifting from your chest towards your feet. Lift. Two more, rolling down. Lifting the arms back. Squeeze that ball so the arms stay active. Last one. Lovely. And hold it here. Now bring your arms out to your side. Bend your knees. Bring your heels fairly close towards you. Reach down with one hand and grab hold of your ankle. The other hand comes around the top of the head and relaxes on the side of the head as if you're about to do a neck stretch. Now shrug that shoulder and then slide the shoulder down your back. Now let your ear come down towards your shoulder so it's coming away from the shoulder of the arm that's holding onto your leg. So you're getting a stretch in the neck. Let the hand just rest on the side of the head and now start to move your foot away from you slightly. That's the foot that your hand is attached to. So you increase that stretch down the side of your neck. 
Shrug your shoulder again and then release it. Now gently press your head back into your hand so you feel a contraction. Stop pressing, but increase the stretch. Allow the ear to come closer to the shoulder so you really open up the side of the neck. Your hand's holding onto your ankle, so it's really increasing the stretch. Release the hands, bring the head back to centre. Release the hand that's attached to your ankle, and then reach around with the other hand and grab hold of your ankle. If you need to bring it closer in towards you, that's fine. Other hand comes overhead onto the ear. Bring the ear down towards the opposite shoulder. So the hand that's attached to the ankle, allow that ankle to come away. Just move that foot away from you slightly. Shrug that shoulder and then release it down. Allow the head to come away towards the opposite shoulder so you open up the neck and then gently press your head back into your hand. Very gently, dropping the shoulder all the time, holding onto your ankle. Stop pressing but increase the stretch into that neck. Allow your foot to come further away from you so you increase that stretch. And then slowly bring the head back to centre, release the hand that's around the ankle and release the hands over the head. Bit of a weird one, but very effective, especially if you spend a lot of time at a computer. Very effective for your scalenes. Oh, okay, relax here for a moment. Get the hands back to your lower abdominals and focus on the breathing as you did in the beginning. Breathe into your hands and exhale slowly. So really slow the breathing down, take about five counts to breathe in and about eight counts to breathe out, really empty the lungs. And with each breath allow yourself to relax and allow the mind to soften. Allow the tailbone to relax. Allow the hips to open and release. So you're not gripping onto the thighs. Allow the glutes to relax. Allow your toes to soften. All the muscles in the leg relax. The ankles and the knees and the thighs. Allow the fingertips to soften and the wrists and the elbows and the shoulders. Allow that softness to travel up the neck, releasing any muscles and the tightness in the neck. Now feel the heaviness of the head. Allow the head to sink back into the mat. And as the head releases, all the muscles in the face relax and soften, especially the cheekbones and the jaw. The forehead releases. And allow your eyes to soften. Is there any noise or disturbance that you can hear in the background? Just notice it and let it go. And then with your nose in one direction, start to draw a small circle on the ceiling. Three more. And then reverse, come back the other way. Last two. And then relax the head. 
Bring the feet and the knees together, drop the knees to one side, and turn the head in the opposite direction. Just suck the shoulders back into the mat, and then come back to centre and change sides. And come back to centre, and again, one more on each side, releasing any tightness in the obliques, in the waist, and in the back, in a nice rotation and stretch. And other side, keep the knees together and the feet stacked. And come back to centre, take the knees over one more time, take the hands with you. Push yourself up using your hands, come back into your seated position. If you can sit cross-legged, go ahead. If not, just be comfortable. Lift the arms up towards the ceiling. Reach along with your fingers. Really have energy coming through your fingers. Keep reaching further. And then bring your hands out by your side. Really reach with intention. Let your right hand come to the floor. Take the left hand overhead. Keep reaching. Push the sit bones into the floor. So you get in a dynamic stretch. Really go for it. Don't think about it being all just limp or half of a stretch. Really stretch into it so you feel as if the rib is being pulled out of that hip. And now reach forward with that arm, come forward with the other arm, drop the head between the arms, push the sit bones back into the mat, and then roll yourself up. Lift the hands back up towards the ceiling, other hand comes down towards the floor, reach over, soften the elbows, but reach long with your fingers. Pushing the sit bones into the floor. Keep reaching. You feel the rib cage trying to come away from your hip. It's not really, I mean, just imagine. Don't be worried. Come back up to the centre, lift long with your fingers and bring them down to your prayer position. Take a deep breath in. Breathe into the heel of your hands. Let your hands rest just by your heart. And then release. And again, deep breath in. And release. And again, deep breath in. And release. I want you to imagine a nice bright white light coming through the crown of your head. Coming through the body, pushing away any negative black colours throughout the body. Put that white light through the arms, let it pass through into your fingers. Let it come down your body, through the heart, into the ribs, pushing down through the belly, into the pelvis and through your legs, all the way down the thighs, the knees, the calves, through the toes, until the whole of your body is this beautiful, white, positive ray of energy. Any negativity being pushed away. Now you're positively beaming. If your eyes are closed, just slowly open them. Give me a beautiful smile. Have a fantastic day. If you're doing this in the morning, I hope you have a wonderful day ahead of you. And if you're doing this evening, in the evening, I hope you had a great day. If not, let it go. Don't dwell on anything that went wrong. Everybody makes mistakes. It's not the end of the world. And if you didn't make any mistakes, why not? <laughs> you will tomorrow. It's all part of the learning process and it's fantastic. And just bless any negative people in your life. They come and go and they're there for a reason, just to teach you a little lesson about whatever it is that you feel that they're there for. Try not to judge. Just have a fantastic day and be positive about yourself. And you're positively sparkling now. And I will see you tomorrow. Let me know how you get on, how you're doing with experimenting with these um, pleasure meals and with the menus, anything that um, you want to change or anything that you really want to share with any other members of the group. Keep drinking your water, be in bed by 9.30, reading a good book. If you're reading Fifty Shades of Grey, you'll probably still be awake at one in the morning. <laughs> so have fun if you're reading that particularly and take care and I'll see you tomorrow.